time ever that such an event has been organized. It is really our good fortune that we are all part of this seminar, a truly historic event. Little about IORP was founded in 2007. The main aim of the group is to improve the academic cosplay research scenario in India. We have been working with numerous institutions and individual doctors and now we have completed more than 90 projects and more than 20 projects are going on. We provide a lot of services to help orthopedic surgeons and PG students to conduct studies and publish articles. All details are on the website www.iorg.co.in. Now we come to today's topic and that is thesis. A single word that causes the good news is that you have to write only one thesis. Unlike French and Germans who have to write more than one. And at the end of it you get a degree. So you can finally operate or do whatever that speciality uh, allows you to do. But unfortunately can everybody hear me? Yes. I think it's okay. Unfortunately, the good news ends over here. So writing a thesis is a very difficult, painful work. It is very easy to procrastinate. Okay, let's not do it today. We will see when the time comes, we will uh, write the thesis. The exam is very far away, etc., etc. And it is unlike any other document. It's a really difficult job. It's so bad that some people never manage to write a thesis. The copy paste, uh, some single pieces, just taken up and uh, submitted and resubmitted, and the cycle of this goes on. After doing so much hard work, you are lucky if your thesis will be read. <coughs> Generally, it is not even read by anybody except yourself. If you are lucky, it will be your guide will read it, and if you are a little more lucky, your examiner will read it. So, what is this thesis? Thesis is, is, is not research. So when, when, uh, when an apple falls from a tree and uh, Newton says that there's gravity, that could be research. But if he wants to write a thesis on it, then it's a process. Okay. It just that, that, that apple falling and he calling it gravity is not, not a thesis. Okay. So he has to undergo a process to put that research into thesis. So what is a thesis? It is a scientific approach to research. It's almost very complicated, but you understand it as the day goes on. So it is a scientific approach to research, it is an identification of a problem by a thorough review of literature. Then it is addressing that problem by performing a relevant experiment. At the end of the experiment you get a result, you will have data. So you have to present that data in an understandable format. And then you have to draw meaning, meaningful conclusions from these results. And these conclusions will be in the light of the findings of your research and then you have to discuss this in the context of what is being reported in literature. It's okay if you don't understand all this, but it will become clear to you as the day goes on. So, a thesis is an original contribution to knowledge. Okay. So, you have to identify a worthwhile problem or question which has not been previously answered. So, does that mean that you know, every time you choose a topic, then that topic has to be original. See, that is very difficult. It is not possible that every student will get a topic that is not being seen. Orthopedics was not, or any for that matter, any other branch, was not, did not come in two months back. It has been there for many, many, many years, and people have really researched a lot. So it is going to be a very difficult task to find the topics that has never been touched before. So, if you don't find such a topic, is your work valid or it, is it, it, it is not? Actually, it is still valid because of two, three things. One is that even though a study may have been done before, your study could support that study or validate that study or it could counter that study. Okay, so, you do a similar study and you say, you know, my results are different, so you cannot take that study on face value and maybe we need better studies to prove that point. The second thing is that uh, about uh, a time cycle. So you see, times change. If you read a paper today in a journal which is published in 2011, 
that data is on about on an average three years old. Okay. And if you are doing a study now, your journal will come at the end of two to three years. So there is a six years gap. Six years, five to six years is a good time for literature to recycle. Because times change, patient population change, disease patterns change, process design changes, surgical techniques change. Therefore, a study which was valid, say six years back, may not be valid in today's time. So you can always prove that. Okay. <coughs> Go to the next point. So a thesis is an attempt to persuade a reader, your examiner or a reviewer. What is he looking at? We will ask, what is the research question? Is it a good or useful question? And did the author convince me that the question was adequately answered? And has the author made an adequate contribution to knowledge? So why do we need to write a thesis? We, do, we don't have a choice. Okay, it is compulsory. <coughs> In the process, the advantages, you will learn how to research, you will learn how to write. And once you write something as complicated as a thesis, then shorter conferences and journal papers will become easier. If you manage to write a good thesis, believe me, you will get immense satisfaction and pride. It will be something that you will remember for many, many years. Uh, you will look upon it as uh, with a lot of pride that you I did such great work when I was the resident. It definitely adds a lot of value to your CV. Most times in interviews, the examiner, the, the interviewer, we will start with discussing your thesis. And if you are written a good thesis and you are proud of your thesis and you are really doing some good work, you can instantly impress that examiner. If you only have not read your thesis, then you know. You can imagine what will happen when the examiner asks you about it. Will the thesis make you famous? Unlikely. <coughs> will, it, will it radically change science? That is also unlikely. Will it advance our knowledge? Not so much. Like I said, you know, this research is always going on and it's not like you're going to find a, a breakthrough. But definitely there will be benefits. The main benefit is that you will learn how to research. And the other benefit is you can turn your thesis into a publication. Today, in today's world of evidence-based medicine, we all realize the importance of publication. And believe me, if you tell your guide that, you know, I want to make this a publication, his attitude will change towards you all night. So he will suddenly be very interested in your thesis and he will go all the way to help you out. So you are motivated. So when do you actually start working on your thesis? Is it six months before the end of the residency? Not really. Six months is before the end of the residency you will submit your thesis. So you really have to start the day you join. <coughs> Don't worry, it's not never too late. So like I told you in the beginning, you have to break it up into smaller parts. If you look at the whole thesis, it's very intimidating. Now what do I do? But if you break it up into sections and subsections, <coughs> then you can find that, and if you allow your time on, on which I will talk later, then you can find that you can really complete the thesis comfortably. So this is the format of a standard thesis, and this will be taken in the coming lectures. All of these topics will be discussed in a fair amount of detail. So, so the timetable. How long will the thesis take? See, you have to submit it six months before the end of your residence. When you join, you have around four months average to submit your protocol. So six and four, ten months are gone over there. Another two months for sick leave, managed leave, holiday, etc. etc. So one year you remove. Okay? You have only two years to write your thesis, that is 24 months. That is the practical thesis. Out of that, the last four months you have to give to actually writing the thesis. That means your conclusion, your research, everything is over. And you are actually writing down each and every chapter, including your discussion. So you need four months to do that. So actual case collection is, or data collection is, 20 months, provided you start on day one. Okay. Many of you are in the middle of your residency. Many of you have taken advantage of time. Unfortunately, many of you may not have taken the advantage of time, so now you are so many months short, and therefore you have to <coughs> do that thesis in that less amount of time. So planning, like anything else, is very important. And those who need to 
are involved in laboratory experiments or in animal experiments, they need even more time because you need clearances, you need to arrange the laboratory equipment, and in the funds, etc. So, make a timetable like any timetable. You are all experts at timetables when you prepare for examinations. You have to see today's date. Uh, many of you have already submitted the protocol. You will have to sit and find it. Well, I'm sure you must be wondering now whether it is or So, please locate your protocol. See the last date of submission. Calculate the number of days left. Calculate the number of patients and then you can do this simple calculation that you have 20 months, so you have to do it n by 20, that is the number of cases divided by 20. If it is 20 cases, then you have one case per month that you have to minimum collect, so you have finish 20 cases at the end of 20 months. And like I said, I would write the thesis as 4 months. I cannot overemphasize the importance of discipline and regularity. The two important things, the more disciplined and regular you are, the more easier it becomes to write your thesis. If you want to wake up at the end, just two months away from your study leave or thesis submission date, believe me, you are going to have a terrible time because your guide is going to be pressured, you are going to be pressured, you are not going to be able to complete uh, and you do a, a very a bad job at this right. Make full utilization of rotation postings because those, that is the time when, when you will have some free time. So you should use that free time to uh, and devote it to thesis rather than to voting your girlfriend. And use your colleagues and friends because they will help you to collect the cases. You cannot be present everywhere at all times. So if you are a better and then your colleague sees a case, he can collect the data or at least he can inform you that okay, there is a case, so you can go later and collect the data. So month one, end by 20 of work, month two, to end by 20, so that by month 20 you have finished all your data collection. In the 21st month, you will have to prepare 